Hey guys, welcome back to Campbell Workshop. Today we are making Oriental Lilies, which is one of the most popular flower in the world. We are going to show you how to make the flower and the flower buds. Before we start, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button below so you won't miss any of our new tutorials. First, we need to cut the 12 half petals with the beige crate paper. Also cut 5 light green budding petals according to the template. Then we attach the half petals together with yuhu glue. This is because we would like to mimic the middle line on the real lily. Now we move on to the budding flower. Take out two pieces of petals, add some yuhu glue on one side of the petal and place the second right on top of each other. Do the same to the second pair. Then we turn the two sets of petals inside out, so the seam line is inside. Attach the two sets of petals together. And add a fifth to the group. Let the whole structure to dry. Take out the flower petals and acrylic paints in yellow and red. We mix the color briefly so when we color the petals, you have parts are more yellow, more red. Create an uneven natural feeling. Take out three 18 gauge wire and wrap them together with the light green flower tape. Next, get another 18 gauge wire, cut it in half and wrap them with green flower tape. Now we are going to make the flower center. Get three pieces of 20 gauge wire and cut them into half. Wrap two thirds of the wire with light green flower tape. In order to give a more realistic feeling to the flower, I've added some pollens. Then we use a flat plier to bend the top 1.5 cm and bend into a T shape. This top wire is going to be our pollen. Get a piece of red or dark red crepe paper and cut them into 2 times 1.5 cm strips. Add a bit of yuhu glue onto the paper and wrap the paper around the top. Twist the paper so it will mold into the shape of wire. Take a green wire and add a big hot glue ball on the loop of the wire and let it cool down. Add a drop of hot glue on the light green wire as the stigma. Now we are going to curl the petals and expand the bottom third of the petals. After that, we go back to the pudding flower. We bend the bottom edges Wire. Add some hot glue to the bottom edge and wrap it onto the hot glue ball on the wire. Then we are going to close the budding flower with some hot glue. some hot glue to the opening and hold it together. Use 
use a wire to pop the paper out, so you will have a hollow budding flower. At last, add a drop of hot glue to finish the tip. Take out the main stem again and color the hot glue tip with some dark brown and set it aside. Then we need to add some dark green to the budding flower to differentiate individual petals. Start from the bottom and add a bit of color on the top. Now it's the time to construct the lily. Shape the pollens and wrap them onto the main stem with some green flower tape. Bend the bottom tip of the petals towards the flower centre. Add a drop of hot glue to the bending. Another drop for attaching the petals to the flower centre. I've attached the petals by going around, but you can also attach the first three petals as the inner layer, then another three as the outer layer. After the hot glue has cooled down, you can expand the flower center. Then we color the middle of the flower center with some dark green to hide the hot glue. And add some final details to the petals. Curl and expand the petals, then you're almost done. I have also made a few leaves adding to the branch. If you want to know more details on leaf making, don't forget to watch our leaf making tutorial. Finally, we just need to wrap all the elements together with some flower tape, then we are done. Thank you for watching the video and I hope you like it. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for our weekly tutorials. And all our templates are available on our Etsy store. Check them out as well. See you next week.